Boston Children's Hospital really invented most of the complex procedures that are performed today in congenital heart disease. So we have probably the greatest experience with congenital heart disease. As you grow older and become an adult patient with congenital heart disease, it becomes important to really work with people that know the process well, understand how the lesion is repaired so that they can understand how to fix things later in life if they need to be repaired. And I think that's where Boston Children's Hospital shines the most. I think our team at Boston Children's Hospital is really well equipped to be able to take care of any adult patient with congenital heart disease. And we have a team that includes not only pediatric specialists, but adult specialists. And this is a unique combination that you can't find in very many places. Adult congenital patients can be quite complex. And in addition to the complexity of their anatomy and physiology, there's also a lot of complexity related to the treatment options that are available. And so it's not a one size fits all type of thing where you can read a textbook and say, here's a diagnosis and this is the recommended treatment. We really need to spend a lot of time looking at the features that make someone's anatomy and physiology unique and to the extent that that determines the treatment options, we are often engaged in rather lengthy discussions about exactly what we should do, when we should do it, and what criteria we set for changing course if we think that one plan that we had initially settled on isn't going as well as we thought it would. And in working together, I think that's the critical piece for figuring out what the optimal plan should be because as experts in our own right, the surgeons, the electrophysiologists, the cardiologists, the interventional cardiologists in the cath lab, we all have our own unique perspectives and expertise. And only in the context of discussing those in an open forum can we confidently come to that conclusion that we think a certain plan is the right plan for you. The American Congenital Heart Association has designated our program as an accredited program by their criteria. And there are a lot of elements that go into whether a program has met the requirements to be considered accredited by that association. From our standpoint as surgeons, the most important aspect of that is that the surgeons leading the surgical side of the care are congenitally trained and congenitally board certified surgeons who rather than focusing just on care of adults have the full benefit of having trained and lived and breathed the experience of taking care of neonates, infants, and children. And I think that's so important because when we see adult patients come through with complex disease and a history of multiple operations. I think that we have our best outcomes when the surgeons doing the operations for those patients have an intimate and experiential knowledge of the operations that these patients have had done in the past. And armed with that knowledge and that sort of intimate level of understanding of what all the ins and outs of those previous operations were and the impact that those operations have on a patient's anatomy and physiology today, I think that's really critical. For about the past five to seven years, we performed about 100 to 110 operations per year for adult congenital heart patients. We expect that our volume will continue to rise. And it's an important thing because that gives us the flexibility to explore new therapies for new problems, for thinking outside the box of how to treat really new and challenging issues, some of which no one's seen before.